Hi, McKenna. How are you? I'm good. It's Kate here again from the TV Fangirls. Hi. We, we spoke, I don't know, a couple months ago. Yeah. It's been a while. I remember. Absolutely. You? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. You and I today are joined by a Sarah Walker fangirl, my friend Angie. Say hi, Angie. Hi. Hi, Angie. Nice to meet you. Isn't it kind of weird that we're doing like a three-way call, like high school style? I just think it's funny, but you know. <laughs> I think it's great. I, lo- I always love three-way calls. <laughs> you can talk to all your friends that way. Exactly. It's like mean girl style. <laughs> <laughs> hey, McKenna, I saw you tweeted a picture a couple days ago of your chair. You got a new cha- director's chair. I did. I know. It's like, it's kind of dorky, but for me, it was so exciting because I've never had an official chair before. Like, yeah, it, so it was really exciting. Normally, when you're, um, you know, on a set and you don't have your own chair, there's a chair that says cast. And it's, you know, everyone who doesn't have their own chairs, chair to sit in, I guess you would say. And so that day I came to work and they all were like, no, we, we have a chair with your name on it. And I got so excited because my first, you know, big chair, and I know that's a little dorky, but for me, it was like getting an oh ANFS, God. like I wanted to like send the picture to my mom for her to put it on the, the refrigerator. Absolutely, no, I totally understand, that would be pretty great, but it had, it had yeah. Alex's name and not yours. Yeah, they all have our character names on them. That's but do you, cool, do you get to keep oh. it, though? Do you get to take it home once everything's over? I think you get to take the back off, because you know how the back is Oh, chair. okay. You can take That's it out of the pile. Cool, right? like That's a sad little flap that has everybody's, you know, chair back on it, and they go on the chairs. So I think we get just the back part. But That's pretty I cool, that. though. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah. Um, last time we talked, we and I talked, we, you, I asked you if you had met Linda Hamilton yet. Have you had the chance to meet her? I have, and yes. she is wonderful. I... I mean, I have nothing but amazing things to say. She's so inspirational and just really was very giving. You know, she kind of shared some stuff about when she first started and, and I was sharing about my what my journey's been so far, and she's just wonderful. Like, I love her so much, and it's so fun to work with somebody like like her, you know? Oh, I could, I, I could totally see that. They A lot of the – they had Chuck Fest again and a lot of – Linda Hamilton went, and everybody who was tweeting had nothing nice, to, but nothing but nice things to say about Linda and how and how friendly she was to everybody. She really is friendly, and you know she she was always she would always say she was the first one on her mark when when we're ready to go, and she definitely was like that. You know, she's been working in this business forever, and she's still just as hard and just as appreciative to be working, and it's just refreshing. Um, not that everyone on the set is not like that, but you know she's. She's just um, very professional. Very professional, yeah. Yeah. No no diva at all. (laughs) All right, well, we're going to get into questions, and um, Angie and I are going to alternate. So, Angie, you're up first. All right, so, of course, we're Sarah Walker fangirls, so we have to ask, Mm -hmm. do you have any scenes with Yvonne coming up, or have you filmed any with Yvonne yet? I have definitely worked with Yvonne recently. Oh, my God. I'm excited. <laughs> oh, hoping it's a double date, right? I'm not going to tell you any information. I'll just say that I that I have, you know, you guys have to watch. But Yvonne is so fantastic. I, I, I really enjoy working with her. And I've enjoyed, like, uh, working with her more. You know, obviously, in the beginning, it was a lot of um, Adam and, um, and Josh. But Yvonne, so she's just cool, nice, talented, amazing. Yeah, a lot of the uh, our, our followers were tweeting that they want a Chuck and Sarah, Alex Morgan double date. So I hopefully, know. maybe they'll go get I, sizzling I shrimp. That would be I don't fantastic. Know. Say it again. That would, I said maybe. maybe they'll go get sizzling shrimp. I don't know. That would be awesome. But <laughs> maybe you guys will have to you guys will have to watch. But I will say that there is a lot of fun stuff coming up with that with the whole dynamic for sure oh that's great um you know we 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 talked about how the father daughter dynamic was was obviously a big part of the show and big part of your character and we enjoyed watching it um are we going to get to be able to see a lot of that you know more casey alex you know maybe morgan thrown in you know what what are we going to get to see when when it returns 
Definitely. Um, the next couple of episodes that are coming back have a lot to do with um, with Alex and her dad and their relationship, as well as how that relationship affects um, Morgan and Casey's relationship. You know, that that whole little threesome we have going on, the triangle, definitely um, is is present, and it, there's a lot going on with it. Now, what about your mom? We we see, you know, you, we see Alex, but what about her mom? Where is she? I mean, do we get to meet her? We haven't seen her since, you know, last season. You know, are we going to be able right. to see that? Well, um, I, without giving anything away, her mom definitely still exists, obviously. And, um, and yeah, it, it, you, you'll have to watch. But there's <laughs> – but, there's definitely some explanation at some point of where her mom is and what's going on with that. Nice. Nice. Okay. Angie? Well, that's interesting because I always assumed that maybe Alex was lying to her about having a relationship with Casey because... Yeah. I mean, would she even know that he's alive? You'll have to find out. Oh, darn it. I thought I could get something out of her. That's no fun. (laughs) Okay, so... Everyone wants to know, of course, what's coming up for Alex and Morgan. Like, how serious are they getting? Because last time we saw you guys, you had just agreed to basically start dating. So Right, exactly. Yeah. Is it more Um, serious now? Are you guys, like, boyfriend and girlfriend? Are you still just, you know, in the whole dating phase? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. No, their relationship uh, is definitely progressing. That's what I'll say, but um, but yeah, there it, it lends itself to a lot of comedic potentially coming up um, between themselves and and the, and the whole dynamic. It's it's really fun. Yeah, there's a lot there's a lot more Morgan and Alex stuff to come. We just have to watch and see what happens. So maybe maybe <laughs> Alex spends the night at Morgan's place, which is also Chuck and Sarah's place. Maybe there's some awkward Ooh. meeting in the middle of the night. Ooh. Maybe. I'm not going to say anything, but oh. that is a possibility for sure. <laughs> maybe. That would be so funny. Maybe it's uh, this time. Maybe it's time for Chuck to catch Alex in the fridge in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Awkward. <laughs> Awkward. Oh you my. never know. That's, but that's such the, I'm having so much fun with this character. And, like, already within the framework of, like, the dynamic between all the characters in Chuck. It lends itself to so many fun, awkward moments, and like the potential for those are endless. And it's even for me who's working, because you know, I, I know a little bit farther in advance than you guys know. But the cool thing about being on TV, it's almost like you, it's like real life. You you find out as it progresses what's going to happen next. You know, where like in the movie, you know the beginning, middle, and end. So mm-hmm. for me too, it's fun when I get the script. I'm like laughing out loud sometimes. I'm like, oh my god, this is hilarious. This is amazing. I wonder if next next time it'll be this or you know. Yeah, that's funny. I can't that wait. Really I'm still very optimistic about you getting to help Daddy out on a mission. I'm, like, hoping that happens still. I mean, we didn't Me get to. <laughs> we, we still didn't get to see you. We didn't get to see you, like, the last three episodes. You weren't in it. But uh, I'm hoping that you come back in full force, and I'm really still wanting you to get another fight scene or maybe smack Morgan around a little bit. I think that that would be a lot of fun myself, too. Um yeah, I, I, we'll have to, we'll see. I mean, there's not necessarily a, uh, that completely happening yet. There's still that we're still kind of dealing with some of the other stuff, but um, but I'm optimistic and hope that that happens as well, just because I think it would be a lot of fun. I had so much fun with Adam um, last season and our little our little butt kicking session, <laughs> but I definitely would love to to do that. But I will say that the episodes coming up, there's a lot of fun fight stuff going on in the show in general you guys have to look forward to awesome so you've been on the show for almost a year i would yeah it's been almost a year in may i guess so have you gotten people coming up to you on the street saying oh my god you're alex (laughs) or like chuck fans coming up to you or anybody recognizing you at all it's so funny. The only experience I had slightly to that was I went home for Christmas, you know, as we all do. And I'm from the Bay Area, Northern California, and I was at a, a big local mall thing. That, you know, Christmas, 
millions of people, you can imagine. Yeah. So I'm walking out, and I see this guy hold the door open at Macy's for me, and he's, like, looking at me kind of awkward, and I was like, oh, what's going on? And then him and two of his friends are kind of, like, not following me, but we're all walking across the street together like a big group of people. And I hear them because they're standing right next to me, and they're like, do, do you think that that's the girlfriend shop? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she just was like Emily Blunt. I'm not sure. And then they like, <laughs> it wasn't me. That it wasn't me, but I didn't, I, my skin tone or my skin coloring was, wasn't completely right. So I was neither Emily Blunt nor myself. And I was laughing so hard. But I didn't, I don't know. It was like so awkward. I was like, I don't know if I should turn and be like, yeah, it is me. Hey. I didn't say anything. But, so my, I kind of got recognized, but they actually decided that it wasn't me. So. Oh, my God. That's, my that's, okay. Emily Blunt, though, I feel like that's like. That's, no. Yeah, that's way off. These guys must That's be kind of stupid. Yeah, I don't know. That's, well, you're, <laughs> you're not British. You're not English for, for starters. That's funny. Wow. I know. I thought it was very funny. <laughs> you know, we just talked about you being on Chuck for so long. I mean, what has your, been your favorite thing about Chuck? I mean, is it the cast? I mean, being a part, or is it like being a part of a show where fans, like <laughs> obviously like us, are, are, you know, who actually care about the show? I mean, what would you say would be your favorite thing? I think it's definitely a mixture of things you just said. For me, this show has been the life changing in the sense. I mean, last year, this time, I was working as a waitress, like hoping that one day my dream would come true and I'd be financially stable, doing what I love and what I set out to do. And sometimes that goal can seem really far away, but it kind of happened. Like, not to say it happened overnight because I definitely have been here working for a long time, but when I got the show and everything progressed, in, in a way, I just woke up one day, and in a sense, a lot of my dreams had come true, and on top of that, I get to be working on a show that is so much fun, and I go to work every day, and I'm just laughing, and the people I work with, from the crew to the cast to the producers to the writers, everybody loves what they're doing, and then, like, you guys, the fans, have been so warm and open, and it's just, it's it's like a once in a lifetime opportunity and, and I'm so grateful. I mean, what would you, if someone who was in your shoes say, you know, being a waitress, what advice would you give them? What would you say to them right now? I would say that if, if this is what you really want to just work really hard, um, continue to work at your, your craft and go to school or classes, all that stuff, but also, to surround yourself with positive people who are also going in a positive direction. I think one of the biggest things in L.A. that I see is you, you just kind of get mixed up in it and you don't – you can get lost in the shuffle of it all, but if you have a real focus on your goal and where you want to be and you just continue to believe in yourself and know it's going to happen and trust that it's happening the way it's supposed to, but doing all the work and, as well as that, anything can happen. Yeah, that's really nice because I know there are probably are a lot of people that are going to listen to this that want to do what you're doing and they just don't know. They just think that it's impossible, but obviously you're an example of it's, it's impossible. very possible. Mm-hmm. It is very possible. You just have to work hard. My dad always said that um, luck is preparation meets opportunity. So if you're prepared for your opportunity when it comes, that's when the luck happens. But if you're not prepared or your opportunity doesn't come, there's no luck. Yeah, or you're just waiting around for something to happen, just thrown in your lap, which it doesn't work that way. We all know that. (laughs) Nope, no matter what you're doing in life. That is very true. So we have fangirl all over the place, TV fangirl, Sarah Walker fangirls listening. Mm -hmm. And if someone is a regular listener to Sarah Walker fangirls, they know we sometimes go off on tangents about, like, Sarah's hair and makeup and clothes. And we all kind of had a, a fangirl moment uh, over some of your wardrobe. I'm and talking hair. about. Your hair is awesome. Yeah, we love your hair. We love your makeup, your clothes, the blue dress that you wore. And I think it was uh, coup d'etat where you came to Morgan's office and you had like the moment where you guys kissed. I'm like, I want that dress. Love- where can I find it? I need it. It's so cute. You know what's so funny about that? I love that dress too. And I went and bought myself one in black. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say, is they're like, do you go to set and there's like a huge closet of clothes? And they're like, here, pick something. Or do they just say, here, wear this. And then you have to give it back at the end of the day. You, you have to give them back most of the time. I mean, I've been on sets, not necessarily Chuck, but like a lot of times like films, like independent films, you can buy back some of your wardrobe for 
like half the price or whatever. But on TV, it's pretty much for the most part. I'm sure somewhere in, in the world, somebody's given somebody something. But you know, it all goes back into like a big closet that has amazing stuff. But that dress, I actually found at Nordstrom's on sale. It's oh. really cute. So we can get it at Nordstrom's. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Everyone? I found it at Nordstrom's. Mental like, note. Probably two months after that aired, and it was so funny because I was like, "Oh my god, I have to get this." <laughs> your shoes are really cute in that scene too. I remember your shoes are like with heels. Um, yeah. Where, it's how, fun. Long, how long are you in hair and makeup before you go on camera? Um, not that long. I mean, obviously, it kind of depends upon like what the scene is, like how fancy or not fancy you are. But um, I would say tops thirty minutes. Well, that's nice. I thought it'd be longer. I mean, for sure, sometimes not necessarily on chalk, but sometimes if you have like big, like big party hair or something, like obviously that would take longer. But they they have such a good team. Like our hair and makeup team are so good, and it's just I mean, we're all girls. It's totally fun to be girly sometimes, and I'm not necessarily really good at doing my hair in my own life. So to have somebody do it for me is the best. It's so much fun. I can imagine that would be nice to pretty much get a makeover every day. Yeah, pretty much. Great. Yeah, I'm a little <laughs> jealous of the top. Yeah, I want my hair to do the wavy, but it won't. <laughs> no matter how it hard will. I try. <laughs> Maybe yeah, if I come and I have the Chuck makeup people do my hair, then it'll do that. <laughs> yeah. All right, so McKenna, are you working on having any other projects outside of Chuck at the moment you can talk about? We wa- I watched you on Detroit 187. That girl that oh. plays your roommate was creepy. She was like, she yeah, totally she is. You go really well. Joanna but. Batty, she is, uh, she's fantastic. She was so much fun to work with. She actually was on Greek for a while. I don't know if you guys ever watched that show. I know. Or, it was, uh, yeah, she's fantastic. I had so much fun on that project. But um, in terms of what's going on now, I've Chuck has been keeping me really busy, which is very good. Um, but I still continue to audition, and pilot season's fastly approaching here in, in L.A., and so we'll see what happens with that and what continues to happen with Chuck. That'd be nice if you got on the pilot season. That'd be cool. Yeah. Be cool. Yeah. Oh, that's good news if you're uh, still working on Chuck a lot. Yeah, a yeah. lot of that's people nice have been asking. That's nice here. A lot of people wanted that, wanted to know that. that All right, is. but, you know, we have – we asked – um, some fan questions. We opened up fan questions for us to ask you some, and so I have some from my site, and then Angie has some that we got from Twitter, and I got off that people emailed us from the site. So, Angie, do you want to go ahead and ask the first question? Okay, so a lot of people want to know, and it's okay if you don't have any, because a lot of times when they ask the cast, they're like, I don't know what to say, but are there any like funny stories you have from being on set, like something stupid Josh did or Zach or something funny Yvonne said? Anything you could just share about being on set? Oh, my gosh. Uh, that That is a really hard question because every day something hilarious happens. Yeah, I would imagine it's like nonstop. I have, I have a funny, embarrassing me story. So the um, few episodes ago, I had a major wardrobe malfunction, <laughs> <laughs> which was, like, slightly humiliating, but everybody was hilarious about it. It was, um, I can't even remember what episode. You guys remember, it's, it's a little, like, teal jumpsuit almost, like short Yeah, jumpsuit, yeah, the little there. jumper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was cute. That I was cute. really thought was cute. But that day on set, the zipper was not being my friend. And I went to the bathroom and I zipped it up. And then I came out and the whole zipper just kind of like fell off the dress. <laughs> and so my whole back of my dress was like open. And we had like two shots left and they just sew me in. And we all got a kick out of it. And I was like, yep. <laughs> everybody just saw my butt. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's embarrassing. That's funny. Wow. That's yeah. Funny. Yeah, so I'm glad you just. But everybody's hilarious on set. We have so much fun. I can imagine. All right, someone on my website asked, "What is your favorite <laughs> holiday destination?" Destination home for sure. My parents' house. There's nothing like being home, and I feel like, you know, once I moved out of my parents' house from college or from high school, going to New York for school, and I studied in England for a while, and back to LA, I just don't get home as much as I would like to. But um, and I go to school out of state. I understand that. Yeah, I mean, obviously, like 
somewhere tropical, I would love to go. <laughs> but, uh, but for the holidays, I like to be home. We got a really good question from Twitter. Um, somebody wanted to know if you have shot any scenes so far at all that have been cut, and if so, what are they? I have, actually. One of my favorite scenes um, oh my God, really? from tell last, us. Year's, last year's finale, um, there was, I mean, a lot of it you guys saw, but there was one big scene where, uh, like, my dad and Morgan, we all come, and, and I'm, you know, because you guys remember in that scene, I find out for the first time that I have a dad, and it's, like, overwhelming information, and it just dealt more and more with kind of my relationship, in a sense, with what was going on with my mom, but also what was going on with Casey and whether I was going to trust him or not, and it was a really fun scene, and it had... It, had, it was the first time, too, I'd worked with kind of everybody Zach was in it, Yvonne was in it, Casey oh, wow. was in it, Morgan was in it, but it got cut, which makes sense because, you know, there's time, and, and then now this season, some of that information that was there is being elaborated in a different way, but that's the nature of TV. Sometimes you do stuff and it hits the cutting room floor, especially if they're not sure what they're going to do with your character or there's just not time. You know what's weird about that, though? I had noticed in the beginning of that episode that um, the actress that plays your mom's name was in the billing, but then she was never in the episode. And I just thought that was weird, and I figured there must have been some kind of scene that was cut. And that's really interesting that there was a whole big scene. It Because you kind of just ran away, and then you came back at the end to the little house party at the end, and that was it. Yeah. But I think, too, I mean, there was that episode was so packed with information. And then also, you know, because we had then known that they were going to be we were going to be picked up for the next um, for the next season. So then there was all that information of what's going to happen next. And the finale is is one of those episodes where you got to get a lot of information in there. So it happens. Why didn't they put on the DVD? Come on, guys. Come on. What the hell? (laughs) That's what I want to know. I've never actually. I've never even actually seen footage of it. I would be interesting. It, it was a, it was definitely a fun scene. So it got cut. <laughs> All right. So what did you get for Christmas? I have really interesting questions, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, you got some, got some weirdos I on your site. Questions, Kate. Though. I have some. I have. I have got a lot of weird questions. So I pulled up the appropriate. <laughs> <video. laughs> um, you know what? It's funny about Christmas. I feel like when you're a kid, you really want like a toy and then you're in high school and you're like, I want clothes and now I want like kitchen stuff. So exactly. I got a lot of That is exactly got, what like, I have. Hand towels for the kitchen, silverware, a pot. <laughs> <laughs> I got a new pots and pan set, so that's so funny. <laughs> See, right? And is it the best gift ever? I love it. Because I have I so much fun cooking. I know, me too. I feel so old though, I know. It's just like I feel like I'm growing up. Oh, it's you funny. feel old, Kate, come yeah. on. Please, please. But it's true. Something happens. You, you it twitches, and all of a sudden, like kitchen stuff is the best gift ever. Yeah, because you it don't want to go best. buy it for yourself. You want someone else to just give it to you so that you have it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Okay, Andy? this one is a is like the best one we got, and you probably don't know, but I just have to ask it. Will Morgan <laughs> tell Alex about Karina because we know she's coming back in episode fifteen? I am not, I don't know. Oh, (laughs) so that is a denial yet confirmation. (laughs) Way to be coy, that was nice. I am not saying anything, but there is so much fun stuff, I will say, that happens in the next few episodes, in the episodes we've been been filming, and I'm so excited for you guys all to see what happens. So that must mean that... That must mean, like, Karina is, like, coming back and, like, being like, hey, where's Morgan? Can we hook up or something? Hey. Like, nope, nope. I've got a woman now. I want a Karina. I want a Karina and Alex Smackdown. Oh. That would be funny. That would be funny. I'm yes. sorry. Yeah, yeah we're just really. sorry. We're, like, fangirling. And we're we're <laughs> a little bit. That's so up. great. I love it. I just, I'm just not going to say anything, but it's so much fun to hear your guys' thoughts because you'll just have to watch, and it'll be fun. It'll be fun for you guys to see what happens. Okay. All right, I have my final question. My final question is, what has been the most surprising thing about the cast? Surprising thing about the cast. Wow, that is a hard one. Hmm. Um, I was trying to think how to uh, word this to, to be a little more specific, but I couldn't figure it out. 
Maybe like I, I mean I don't know. Like just how fantastic everyone is, I guess. I mean, I don't know, like and how kind of normal everybody is. You know what I mean? Like yeah. nobody's got a big ego. Nobody's everybody's just kind of normal and goes to work every day and does what they do. The boys are actually really actual nerds in the sense that they love their video games and all that stuff. So nobody yeah, plays, you know, like, you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. Zach and Josh always come and are like this game and that game. And I'm like, okay, I have no idea what you're talking about, <laughs> but they're huge gamers and that's fantastic. And, you know, everybody's just normal. That's surprising. I think that's nice to know. It's, it's, it's kind of humbl- humbling to know that, you know, you have these people and they're all very normal, and they don't let this get to their heads. So that's nice. Yeah, thing. you know, people have families. They go home. They cook dinner. They go to the gym, walk their dogs. Are there a lot of dogs running around? I said it kind of seems like there would be with Yvonne's dog running around. Like, and it would be like an animal friendly. Like, you could bring <laughs> your your dog or your cat or whatever. I don't know. That's just like a random <laughs> question that I just thought. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, definitely because she she's she's huge with um with that. Her with her, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a yeah, her organization that she backs, the yeah. um, shelter, Kenmar, yeah, Kenmar, yeah. that's what it is. Um, but yeah, you know, she, I have not yet met her dog, I've seen pictures, but everybody is very like animal friendly, like even our makeup artists and stuff, they have cats and people have dogs, and we all kind of like gush over our animals. I have a dog too, and I'm always like, oh, tiny Oh, what kind of you know. dog? What kind of dog? I love dogs. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have a puddle. She's half pug, half beagle. Aw, what's her name? That's cute. She's, her name's Penny Lane. She's super sweet. She has like a Penny big Lane. snaggle tooth. <laughs> she, like, out, and I love it. I think she's perfect. <laughs> That's great. Oh, that is so cute. Yeah. Are you? Would you tweet us a picture of your dog, or would that be like too weird for you? Oh, of course, yeah. When we get off, I'll tweet a picture of her. Yeah, we love we. Oh, I will. Yeah, we love seeing like all your tweets and your pictures, and like I, I just have to tell you to tell Josh that his Twitter is like the funniest one out of all the cast. Like his pictures. Is it not? It's hilarious. It kills me. He cracks me that's, up every time he tweets. And I'm like, why did he not do this sooner? What was the big resistance? So he's like the best one out of I all know. of them. Oh, so, I'll tell him. I'll he needs, him. To, he he needs to keep him coming. is hilarious. And but needs, that's also like rep, very representative of his character. He is not, I don't mean character like more than anything, but like who he is. He's just really witty, really funny, doesn't take himself too seriously. Like, he's hilarious. He's so much fun to work with. And his okay. Twitter definitely shows that, you know. <laughs> All right, Angie, do you have one more fan question left? Yeah, I'm just going to ask this one, even though it's really just random and stupid, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> people, do I don't it. know where people come up with this stuff. Well, no, Alex, great. Has, the fun. I have. will Alex ever ask Morgan to shave his beard? <laughs> I don't know why she would. <laughs> Is it like a punishment? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's hilarious. But I want to tell somebody important that we should do that. <laughs> oh, my God, yes. Alex and Morgan that get was... in a fight. And she says, the oh only God, way to get ain't... back into my good graces. Shave your stupid beard. Yeah, shave your stupid <laughs> no. beard. You guys, the beard is the best part about the short bearded one. It would be so, but he's never, he's never not had it. So wouldn't that be weird to see him just like come on on TV without the beard? I would be like shocked. Really? I wouldn't know what to do. Here's, here's a better way to, to do that. He could be on a mission and it could be on fire, and then he would have to lose it because it'd be like <laughs> singe. Kate, that's, that's horrible. Perfect. You're like, I hire you. You got good ideas. <laughs> Why thank you? You're saying he's, Morgan. He's, that's more practical than having Alex ask Morgan to shave it. <laughs> but it would be funny. <laughs> that the only way he could like get back funny. into her good graces would be shave his beard. And then he would like have this eternal <laughs> struggle with like, do I want to shave my beard? I love my beard, but I love my girlfriend. What do I do? I think it would be funny. <laughs> but I love my beard. I don't know. I think he loves his beard more. What I a think conflict. I love beard. <laughs> I think you need a pitch. Beard or girlfriend? Beard or girlfriend? I have a feeling if he shaved it, though, it wouldn't take him too long to grow it back. It would probably be like an hour or something. An hour later. (laughs) One hour later. Yeah, he's one of those lucky guys who has a a strong, full, manly beard. (laughs) 
Okay. okay, I don't think I don't have any more questions. Do you, Angie? No, that's all I got. Is there anything oh. spoiler related that you can tell us? She's not going to tell us any things? spoilers. Hey, no. it's worth a try, you know. Okay, all right. Please. <laughs> no spoilers. Ah. Um, damn no. It. I, what I will say is I'm so excited. Maybe because I because I worked on these episodes, even though obviously the ones I don't watch, I watch too. But there's so much fun stuff that that happens. Um, when Chuck comes back, like the storylines, everybody's storylines get really exciting. So I'm, I'm stoked for you guys to see and, and hear what you guys think about it, what's going on. Well, we're excited to see it, and thank you so much for your time, McKenna. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so yeah, much for doing this. No, of course. You guys are so much fun. Anytime. Well, I guess we better let you go. So <laughs> have good luck on the rest of the season of Chuck, and uh, we can't wait to see it. Sounds good. Talk to you guys soon. Bye, Bye. Jenna.